welcome to bsc statistics students now i discuss uh, in this class uh, problems uh, on uh, test for single mean large samples A large sample case test for single mean you see this is problem 1 for all these we have two cases case 1 sigma non case 2 sigma not non now we discuss the problem 1 a random sample of 1600 students has a mean score 99 you see here this is a single sample case this is single sample test so n is equal to 1600 a random sample of 1600 students has a mean score 99 that is x bar is equal to 99 n is equal to 1600 x bar is equal to 99 we have only one sample test whether the sample has been drawn from a population with mean score 100 and standard deviation 15 is it clear it is only one sample and uh, is is asking the question that test whether the sample has been drawn from a population with mean score 100 that is mu is equal to 100 population mean it is a mean of the population and standard deviation 15 that is sigma is 15 so this is a case when sigma is given known if sigma is given then what is the formula we'll see the formula and uh, in any test procedure we have to follow the four point four important points one null hypothesis H naught mu is equal to hundred because it is a mean test. We have to consider mu is equal to hundred. That is the sample has been drawn from the population. For this, you have to refer this question. Test whether the sample has been drawn from the population. Yes, it is drawn from the population. The sample has been drawn from the population. That is null hypothesis. Come to the alternative hypothesis. In the alternative hypothesis, H one mu is not equal to hundred because uh, there is no evidence to consider for greater than or less than. Hence, it is not equal to. Question is asked whether the sample has been drawn from a population. In the null hypothesis, yes, it is drawn from the population. In the alternative hypothesis, no, the sample has not drawn from the population. That is uh, what we consider. in the alternative hypothesis hence it is two time mu is not equal to 100 the sample has not drawn from the population now third point test statistic under h not what is test statistic sigma here you specify sigma is known is given then the formula is uh, uh, z is equal to x bar minus mu not divided by sigma by root n which follows n 0 1 If sigma is given, the formula becomes x bar minus mu naught by sigma by root n. Substitute the values. X bar ninety nine mu naught hundred divided by sigma fifteen divided by square root n sixteen hundred. Calculate the value. You will get some value minus two point six seven. Hence, the value is minus two point six seven z value. now inference or comparison and conclusion put the last point conclusion modulus of z calculate modulus of z 2.67 that is we consider plus modulus and z alpha z alpha value is 1.96 that is at 5% level of significance since level of significance is not specified in the question therefore in the problem therefore we consider 5% and you refer the alternative hypothesis it is two tile test therefore at 5% level and for two tile test the standard normal tables from the standard normal tables the value of z alpha tabulated value or significant value is 1.96 therefore z alpha is equal to 1.96 and now you compare with these two modulus of z and z alpha it is 2.67 it is greater than 1.96 therefore modulus of z is greater than z alpha now h not is rejected what is what is h not h not is rejected therefore h1 is accepted 
what is h1 the sample has not drawn from the population therefore our conclusion is the sample has not drawn from the population this is very simple hope you understand thank you thank you very much